then there's no way up under that bridge. Well, there's that exposed beam underneath. Hey, you think you can rope it? Do I think I can rope it? <laughs> Watch this. I'm watching. I, uh... I missed. <laughs> nah, see, it's, uh, it's all in the wrist. Here, let me see. Ah, see? Yeah, it's not bad. First, second attempt. Here we go. You see that? Oh, like a pro. It's your turn. Oh. So where to next? Hey, bet we can swing off that beam up there. Uh, definitely. Hey, let's switch places. All right, climb over me. I've, I've got a good grip. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Here we go. <laughs> First try. All right, no one likes a show off. Okay, come on, Nathan. It looks like you can uh, climb down and make your way over. Right behind you. Okay. attraverso un tubo e forse non potrà più camminare. Ah, bene lì sta. Ehi, hey, è scommesso sulla partita. Inghilterra vincente. Inghilterra? Traditore. Ehi, hey, non confondere l'orgoglio nazionale con la realtà. Ok, we're good. Jesus, did you see him? That Renner thug was packing some serious heat. Should have brought guns. Sam, we're gonna pull this off so smoothly, we won't need them. I hope you're right. <sighs> All those years. <laughs> it's the little things that you miss the most. Like what? The smell of fresh citrus. <laughs> uh, riding the motorcycle, it's little things, but they add up. That should hold. All right, come on down. Landing's a little more painful than I remember. <clears throat> yeah, tell me about it. So, uh, your other wonderful finds, uh, the ones I missed, you at least take any pictures? I wish. Elena filmed some of it, but camera didn't make it. That's too bad. I have some drawings, though. When we get back, I can show you. You have drawings? 
What are they up on the fridge or something? No, I they're good drawings. I can't wait. Ah, this looks promising. I think you mean precarious. <clears throat> Shit! You okay up there? Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. Suck if you missed right now. It sure would. <clears throat> but I don't miss. Nathan? Nathan? What? Oh, yeah. Okay. You all right? Yeah. How do I look? Like 400 million bucks. Let's go. All right, I'm right behind you. Sully? Know what I love about partying with a bunch of crooks? What's that? Nobody cares if you smoke indoors. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while. Too long, boy. Ah. <clears throat> you remember my dead brother, right? Victor? I'll be goddamned. Fifteen years. Yep. Good to see you alive, Sam. Mm-hmm. Let's, uh, let's try keeping him alive by getting this cross, huh? Yeah, uh, about that. What, what about that? Come on, let me show you something. Take a look. That's Avery's cross. They brought it out of storage just before you guys got here. They changed the lot order. Take a whole pile of cash to make that happen. Right, well, how long before they start the bidding? 10, 15 minutes tops. Well, there's got to be some way we can grab it. <laughs> there is just a small matter of a few hundred eyewitnesses okay, down there. Okay, but we just need a diversion. Like? Like, um... Like, I don't know. But there's got to be something. Well, if the guards see <laughs> us making for that cross... But they don't see us. Jesus, you guys act like you never spend time in prison. If you want something dirty done, then you wait for, for lights, lights out. out. Yeah. Where's that electrical panel for this place? There's ventilation. Electrical? That's it up here. So we just have to climb up there and kill the lights. Grab the cross in the dark. There will be an emergency generator. And that'll give us a few seconds of darkness to work with. Meaning we'll have to be right next to the cross when the lights go out. So there's no way we can get that close without being noticed. Scusate, signore. <clears throat> Antipasti? Hey. Mosse. Hi. How are you? Ciao. Would you focus? The waiter wouldn't get noticed. 
That could work. Huh? That will work. <laughs> All right. All right, I'll, I'll get to the breaker room. Kill the power. You mean I'm the waiter? You're the best pickpocket. Right. You head down to the floor, keep your eye on the prize, okay? Let us know if anything, uh, hinky goes down. Roger that. All right. Listen, we still got this. Ready? Ready. All right, follow me. We'll cut through the cellar. Gotta say, Victor, the years have been kind to you. Thanks. I'm not it up to go on being a spouty. Really? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Hell no. No, no, no. Every Tuesday, we can have some fun out of this girl. What are you doing? I just going over our exit strategy. It's gonna get hairy. <laughs> Look, relax. We've pulled up tougher heist than this. Yeah, I know, I know. I just try not to imagine what they'll do if they catch us. Sam, if things go bad, we'll be dead long before they catch us. That's a comforting point. Yeah. I thought I had a reasonable grasp of French, or at least a passable French accent. But then a few months back, I'm with my girlfriend by the Pompadour Center. I've just sold them those pieces we, uh, yeah, obtained last year. You know, those hanging, tall thing. I don't know abstract art shit. Anyway, uh, Sellers just through there. Let's go. This place is fancy. Here's the thing. Of course they play douchey European techno. Scusi. Here we are. Let's do this. Hell, it's locked. Shit, it was open earlier. Now what? Can we pick it? No, it's electronic. We're gonna have to find another way in. See that? Key card, back left pocket. Yep. I'm on it. Yo, whoa, whoa, whoa. You sure you want to do that? There's a lot of eyes out here. I think I can handle a simple lift. All right. at work. Okay. All right. Let's try this again. We'll still need these. Great. Good luck. We'll be in touch. Hands in the air. Hi, Victor. Hello, Nadine. <laughs> Pleasure to see you again. Only this time, I've got the drop on you. Well, I guess I should be glad that's not a real gun. <laughs> Hardly recognize you out of your fatigues. Yeah. You know how it is. Every once in a while, a job requires us to get all dolled up. Looking sharp, by the way. Not too bad yourself. You're so out of place here. Can't tell you what a relief it is to run into another English speaker. Even if you are American. They'll have to blame my parents for that one. <laughs> I was on my way to the bar. Can I get you something? Yeah, scotch. On the rocks. Be right back. Nate. 
catch all that? Yes, I did. Sounds like a lady's trying to buy you a drink. Yeah, Nadine Ross is buying me a drink. Nadine Ross? Wait, doesn't she own that army for hire? Is it called Coastline? Shoreline. Yeah, right. But you had a run in with them. It's putting it mildly. Fortunately, she does not seem to be holding a grudge. I'm good to go here. All right. Listen, we're all set, Sully. You, uh, stay out of trouble, okay? I'll try. You ready? <laughs> Yeah, let's do it. Got to find where the waiters and caterers are hanging out. And lure one out of the kitchen, probably. Then let's go find the kitchen. Man, there's enough food down here to feed a small town. Oh, yeah, they're a full-service site. Weddings, bar mitzvahs, black market auctions. Just more heavily armed goons. The hell is this? This game wasn't on the blueprint. <clears throat> Locked, of course. Okay, plan B. I told you it's locked. Trust, but verify. And? It's locked. Right. There you go. I see some fence up there. Nathan, come check this out. There we go. Let there be light. Bad electrical in this joint. <sighs> Don't suppose you brought a... F yeah, that'll do. I guess it's always a good idea to bring a smoker along. Unless you need to run. Oof. Man, I'm starting to get a little drunk off the fumes in here. Oh, good thing Sully's driving. Dead end. Maybe the vent access is behind these casks. That's a lot of really rare vintage. Yeah, maybe Alcazar can just settle for some good wine. <laughs> that's something tells me that's not gonna fly. Hey, uh, should we worry that Victor is chatting up Nadine Ross? I mean, I've heard some pretty scary stories from the crew. Yeah, don't worry about Sully. I can talk his way out of anything. Uh, this way. Hey, look, the vents. That's our way out. Yeah, I got it. No need to give me a hand or anything. I'm holding a lighter. Okay, up we go. Right there. That's smaller than it looked, huh? And <laughs> a lot more dusty. Shh, shh, shh. Damn it. Cosa portiamo a quell'odioso miliardario tedesco? Always looks like my size too. There's no shortage of waiters around here.
Fresh air, here we come. Hey, check this out. You see that building with the radio tower? You mean the cell tower? The what? Whatever. Listen, that's the power room. Yeah, you're right. Let's see how we get past this gate. Sam, up here. I'll boost you up. All right. All right. Good thing you kept in shape. There you go. Sully, we just got out of the wine cellar, heading to the power room now. How's it looking? Sully? You there? Ah, it must be a bad spot for a signal. Hopefully he's doing okay. Found the kitchen. And of course it's locked. Sam, look. Maybe we can use that and find a window. Drop into the kitchen. That's a good idea. I'll boost you up and you take care of the ladder. Sarah. Ma che sta facendo? Easy on the civilians, Sam. What? So he waits to put a headache in his underwear. We've both been there before, right? <laughs> right. Well, I got mine. You get yours. All right. Okay, let's get to the power room. Sam, you good? Yeah, these pants are just a little bit too tight. Yeah, well, that's the style these days. Really? No, oh, we're in Rome. Nah, because we're in Italy. I get it. All right, I'm gonna head back to the ball room. It's not a... <laughs> Sam, you there? <clears throat> Sam? <clears throat> Sully? Great. Guys, if you can hear me, I'm just about at the power room. Should be there soon. Ish. believe you got away with that. Oh, we did not. No, we had our liberty taken away for a month. And what about the horse? Fortunately, we had a lot of carrots on board. <laughs> I recognize someone? No. I thought I did, but no. But when am I finally going to meet that partner of yours? Drake? Well, that's ex-partner. Mm. Yeah, I've been flying solo for a while now. 
Drake's out. Oh, like dead out? Oh, no, more like retired. Mm. Last I heard, he settled down, got married. Mm. Well, then he might as well be dead, right? <laughs> Victor Sullivan. Where the hell are you? Rafe. How long has it been? Ten years? Twelve? Fifteen. <laughs> it's amazing. All these years gone by, here we are, we're still haggling over dead people's junk. <laughs> really? Aren't you running your parents' business? My business now. But yes, that is my day job. <laughs> that is one hell of a day job. You could probably afford to buy up everything on the block tonight. Well, sure. But what would be the point in that? And these days I'm only looking for the good stuff. Big score. Any advice on what I should pick up tonight? <laughs> yeah, I think I want to bid against him. <laughs> but um, <clears throat> just between you and me, I did notice they changed the order. Hmm. I think somebody might be trying to rig this auction. Hmm. Well, remember where we are. This crowd didn't get rich by playing fair. Which is why you really need someone watching your back in a place like this. Ah. Well, I do hate to break it to you. You are working for an American. With? We've partnered up on this one. I see. <laughs> Talk about a power couple. In a few moments, we'll begin bidding on our next item, an inlaid wooden crucifix from the Trotty State. Well, I know when I'm a third wheel. You two kids have fun tonight. Just hold on, Sully. How'd you find out about it? It's... What it is that, Rafe? Nadine, I think your partner here has had too many bloody marriages. Cut the bullshit, old man. I don't know how you scammed your way in here, but if you think about bidding on Avery's Cross, I can tell you exactly how you're going to be leaving in a goddamn fight. Rafe! <laughs> well, you get my point. Lovely seeing you both. Nate? Nate? God damn it, kid, where the hell are you? <laughs>